All right, it's been a little bit. I haven't really been out here. Uh, last night I came out here and I got the bug and I was, uh, literally got the bug, and I was uh, determined to get these things out. These are my valve guides. Uh, watched a video on YouTube, of course, and figured out a way to do it. This is actually the hinge bolt from a Pontiac Fiero when you put the hinges in. I'm going to see if I can unscrew it with one hand. I like it because it has like a tapered tip. So the, it's got like a lineup hole. And then it turns into threads. So I found the correct thread for that tap. And what you do is, when it's in there, you take the rockers off and you put the tap in there. And you thread it. And you only got to thread it about, I think it's half an inch. Look at that, it got stuck in there. One touch. You thread it about half an inch. Okay? And then you put the bolt in on this side, the rocker side. Then you flip it over. Set it on the edge of a nice steel table and use a long rod and punch it from the other side and it pops them right out. Just be gentle. I used to uh, get like a big brass hammer. Is that brass or bronze? I think it's brass. My little buggy. Got this for a dollar somewhere. Flea market probably. But I uh, punched it out and I'm going to set up the camera and I'm going to record me doing the other head, taking them apart for whoever. Uh, wants to try doing this. And I did use my drill a little bit just to clean the threads in and out a few times, but I basically hand tapped it as much as I could with that and then used the drill just to clean it up. Alright, so I'm going to work on uh, the cylinder head number two. I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to set you up so you can watch me do this thing. Alright, should be very easy. See you in a bit. Okay, what I did is set you up on top of my welder on a tripod. What I'm going to do is take these valves out of this single port. It's a single port. I don't know what you can see. I'm going to have to flip that screen over so I can see what you're seeing. Give me one second. Yeah, that might help. Yeah. Alright. Single port. Volkswagen. I want to get all four of these guides out. I gotta get the uh, rocker studs out of the way first. So I need a couple 13s, which I have two 13 millimeter nuts. Put one on down by hand a little bit. Put this one on. I did the other one yesterday, so this isn't the first time. 13, 13. Jam nut it together. It shouldn't take much. I like to put them together. If I can. Hmm. Nope, not yet. You get to see every screw up too, because I'm not stopping to mess with a camera. I, mean, I gotta stop doing it. That one's looking like good. The other one came right off. Might need a little heat, but I doubt it. There we go. On rocker stud. Just before it's all the way out, I'll crack the nut off. And this one ain't going to want to come off, so I'm going to stick it in the vise a little bit. stud fat in the end I think it's 14 and 10 or 13 on the end that actually goes in a little box right here I think I moved it off yes it goes right in the little box so I know where it is because I will lose it okay one more bring it down a little 
little bit. Nut down. Two thirteens. This one's tight. But it's off. That's kind of off. Getting there. Too much. There we go. Started coming off and then the nut backed off, so. nuts right now with a deeper uh, bench that way you can't on thread here Cup burn my hand smash my finger you name it wow that one's in there I'll go over here better leverage holy cats that one's in there using muscles I didn't have right Here we're going to be heating it. I didn't want to heat it. I wanted to show you that these come out without heating it, but we'll see. Wrong hand, eh? I'm going to strip the damn thing and keep this up. I 
don't want to go too tight on strip the damn thing. I stripped a nut. Oh, this nut was crap to begin with. Let's try a different way. I'll use the nut that goes on there. This is the nut that grabs the uh, bolt on rocker covers. Of course, I don't have the wrench handy. I think it's 14 or 15. 15, so it must be 16. 15, 14, you see a 16. 18, 16, 16, 15, 18, 17, 15, 18, that's 16. There it is. Craftsman, 16. Anyway, this bolt will grab more studs, more threads. This. Unless it's this nut that's junk. Might be. Might be this nut that's junk. It is. You bugger. Okay. My nut's blown out. What are we talking here? not has any threads. Yeah, I don't think this thing's much. It's coming off. Not easy. The threads okay? Yeah, threads are okay. That's weird. Nice if it caught and like took the start off. Jeez Louise. It's time to go to hell, alright? <sighs> Fuck my junk. Let's see if I got something better. This is the other one that was on there originally. Yeah, that one caught threads. Only let me go down so far. So where is the big one? I just put it down. I gotta rip my finger open. Blood and guts everywhere. Uh, uh, tell you, it's hot in here. Ooh. Yeah, it's hot in here. All right, here it is. Sixteen. this up, I'm going to need another stud. Friggin' thing. Of course the last three came right out, you know what I mean? Aside from bleeding, I'm going to have to find another way to get this stud out. Ah. So 
don't think blood's going to do it. Cut my finger on the edge of this thing, and it's nice and razor sharp, by the way. Blood! Not bad. Mm. More heat. friggin' nut that got stuck in there. Um, we'll push it away from me here. Yeah, see? Now it comes out. A little bit of heat on the aluminum around it. Look at this thing. Ah. Turn from a Valve Guide video to a friggin' push rod video. Rocker shaft video. Uh, let's see. Put that somewhere where it can cool. That works. It's got one of the gaskets on. It's all dried up. We got new ones. Alright, so now the rocker shaft is off. And the thing's really hot. Because <laughs> I probably got like a good 600 degrees or so. So, here it is. I need my tap. Pretty sure I used this one yesterday. I got my little T handle. Put it in there. Bleed all over the damn thing. Blood works. When in doubt, blood works. What it works for, but it works. Okay, I got all my flat spots. Forget what this was. I think it's a nine mil or ten mil. But if you get a Fiero door bolt or a standard metric GM door bolt like this, GM, it's tapered at the front. Oh, it's got a little spot where they line it up, and then when they get the door spot and the, where they want it, they blast the sucker home. So here's my cap. I'm just gonna carefully find the middle without losing the finger again. Okay, now I found the middle. And I'm a little crooked, not too bad. I'm going to eyeball it a few times. Get a couple turns on it. I should have clamped it down. I'm wondering if I clamp it down if you can see it. But anyway, it did break. It's going in now. Turning right into it. Not much of a fight. They are uh, bronze. So bronze is pretty easy to cut. threads. Probably put half of it down in there. So I went down about half of an inch. Okay, Fiero bolt it is. Fiero bolt is 14 millimeter, which I have right here. Oops, stop bleeding. It's a little warm, not bad. Never do that again. I get it started. I'll try to do the drill thing. I was going to clean that hole out better than this. That's 
not super tight. That's better. Alright, now the fear bolt should go in nice. Okay, here it goes. Now, from when it first starts to catch threads, I think I went three turns. Just till it got tight. Like this. Okay, there's my Fiora bolt. Stuck, in, stuck inside the uh, valve guide of a Volkswagen Beetle. Flip it over, hang it off the edge of the table like this. And I found this nice hardened steel long metric rod from something. I don't know what, but it, it you can see it floats around in the in the guide easily. I think this is a god eight millimeter, ten millimeter. And, um, this is actually the worst one too. This one doesn't have much for a top on the valve guide. So there it is. Where's my hammer? Bleeding good. Uh, blood everywhere. Just kidding. All right, here's my hammer right in front of me. Here's my hammer. Now I'm gonna try and keep the shaft in the middle of my hand. Get the off the edge. Get the fierro bolt off the edge. It's hard to not rock. Hard to not bang your hand hard too. I did this five times yesterday. I swear I did. It's coming. I can feel it. Yeah. This might be a hard one because it's the bad one. Some more. I don't want to drop it on my toe, so I don't want to do it in the vise. There's really nothing to grab without cracking it, so let's find my bolt again. Maybe one of these will work better. And no. Let's see if I have another punch. hole in my table, you know what I mean? Something solid to hit, not the vice. Probably been the hardest one in the last four I've done. But it did come out. Needed a few more cranks on the bolt, that's all. So now that it's out, I can grab the bottom with the vise and use my 14 wherever it was. Get the bolt out. That's work. Tell them where I'm going tomorrow. My metric fear bolt. My bloody hand. He's dying. Let's get to number two. How's my finger doing? Oh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. 
feel like that guy that messes with capacitors on there. That was pretty funny. Explodes in his face. It's like, oh. All right. This one's in. We're going for number two. I hope it's not as hard as that one was. Checking the angle here. And I did try, I was looking at um, not using a metric one, using like a 516-18 tap. And the 516-18 doesn't cut enough threads to catch the bolt. So catch any bolt, it just blows out because it's a metric hole. So metric hole, metric tap. Might as well just do a few of these. We've got three left. And I got another set of dual port heads I gotta do. Not to cut a couple carburetors to do. I don't know if you could see, but over here behind me there's two engines on the stands. Alright, that's the start of that one. Jump to number three. Looking good. Think if you don't bleed, you're not you're doing something wrong, or well, you did something wrong, right? Okay, take it out. I wonder if I could just like. Uh, impact gun it in there a little bit. Not with a real big one, just a little one. I got a little impact gun here that should be able to tap that in. But I don't want to break the bolt or the head or anything like that. Alright, last one to thread. Got to wrap up my finger, there's blood everywhere. Cutting fluid, a little oil. Okay, now I can just throw the drill in there. Put the tap in it and clean up. Just chase the thread so I can get, so I can get the bolt to go down deeper. screwed up but it works all right let's put that away Ooh, that's nice and hot we got three left uno dos tres but I got one fear on bolt so that one in there Fourteen. So next time you're on the junkyard, be sure to rip the bolt out of a Fiero door hinge. That's if you can find one. I happen to have a shelf full of Fiero parts. I don't know why. Just bolts. I gotta go slow because this is where I rimmed my finger on. This edge is razor sharp. I gotta take care of that. I'm kind of afraid to tighten it. sharp edge. Yeah, I could clamp it down, but that would be too much like work, right? Alright, I must have a good dozen threads in that thing. Back to square one. I'm just going to flip it. Hang it over the edge. My long puncher rod. 
put that in the hole. Let me see if I can turn you this way a little bit. Uh, that should be a little better. I got a vise right here in the way, so I'll work on that. Okay. Get rid of the rockiness. I just got to hit it. I can't hold it. Let me smash my finger, right? Oh, I felt it go down. Oh, oh. Coming out. Oh, yeah. She's almost out. I just got to be careful here. Number two. Fierro bolt works good. And it caught about 10 threads on the Fierro bolt, but it did never let go. It did once, but we fixed that. Alright, we got two left. I want to see if I can get a little uh, creative here. Um, yeah, I don't need a ratchet. 14 Fierro metric bolt. watching the other video and I'm going the guy that uh, does pretty much the same thing I think he used a different bolt and I'm like he doesn't say anything for the whole video how do you how do you do that not even music why would you do that you can be in the garage talking to yourself and your wife can come in and go what the hell are you doing mine comes in once in a while and goes who are you talking to I tell myself Okay, I got 10 threads or so caught. Back onto the thing. My long bolt. I use a long bolt because I don't want to be banging on a short one anywhere near the head. So I figure the longer the better. And I'm turning the head around. It tilts to the right. On the other side, it's going to tilt to the left. And I'm a righty, so this one should come out much easier than the last two. too good. I have new ones on the way and I have the tool that puts them in on the way too so that should be pretty easy to do. Oh, let's see. Bear with me because I get to do this about uh, 16 more times. Luckily on this head it's only once. Is this the bad one? No. I wanted to show you the bad one. Let's see if I can find it. These aren't too shabby. There it is. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Let's see. Gonna be a bitch. If you see the shiny chrome lip on the other one, the other one doesn't have it because there is no lip. It's gone. The valve in this thing literally rocked all over the place. So. Ugh. Might as well do the guides. They're only like 30 bucks or 29 bucks, something like that. All right, what do we got left here? One more. It's one on the end. Zero bolt. 14. I'm stuck. Pick them up, but I don't, I don't have much for, for metric wrenches. I have the basics, but they're really drop fort steel made in China. I gotta 
get some metric wrenches. If you want to send me a wrench, just send me a 10 or a 13 or a 15. 15, usually the kids steal it because it takes the wheel off of a bicycle. That's awesome. I think I have no 15. If you want to send me something, let me know. <laughs> Alright, last one. Here's my punch. I'm going to hold the head down here and get a couple of good whacks. And when I feel it coming out, I'm just going to stop and tap it out. They didn't hurt anything. Just the Fiero bolt. I caught three threads. Why didn't it catch? Hmm. In doubt, start it over again. I'm so afraid of this cover right now. I already sliced my hand open once. I don't want to do it again. I think I screwed up the threads on the end when I was putting the Fiero bolt in, but always plenty of threads. This is just a stopper so we can rip it out backwards. Probably works on other heads too, not just Volkswagen. See, even when it blew this bolt out, I didn't really hit anything hard, so. And I didn't hit my hand either. That's a big plus. It's a big plus when you don't hit your hand. It's like an A plus. getting easier and it's gonna little bitty taps and there it is a line shot up the middle let him go um, this is the last one on this head the other head is done it's empty it's right there I can take my 14 and get my Fiero bolt back not that I don't have more Fiero bolt goes in the pile. And here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight valve guides. Volkswagen Beetle, single port or dual port, same thing. Just a bunch of bronze. We'll put it out here for the metal guy. He'll make a mint. Make some cash. Why not? I gotta get this bolt off here. I need a 13. Now that the studs cooled down, I can take that off. Grab the, grab the stud. Take that big 16. Stupid 13 off. If it ain't threaded, it's the ratted now. Yeah, no damage. I'm gonna wire brush these. Put some things back together. Here's my head. One of two. No more valve guides. No more valves. No more springs. No more rocker studs. Just ready for a good cleaning. Um, there's no grease on it per se, but there's black paint everywhere. Somebody liked black paint. Um, I might clean them up good. I might get a wire brush. And the last set I had, I glass beaded them. Um, I could do that again. Although they look really new on my old engine. But that's how it goes. Blood rag. Got me good. I ring the tip of my knuckle off. Ow! Ow! Stupid idiot. 
stupid idiot. I'm gonna take my knuckle off. Wash my hands. Yeah. Just need some electrical tape or duct tape. So we'll get. Got one more stud, and that's a 10 millimeter. I think I'm gonna use an oil nut and one of my 10 millimeter nuts. I need a little 10 millimeter nut. Maybe I can get this. There it is. drill these to 13 but it looks like they come too close to the valve guide so that would suck ruining one of those okay. I'm lucky the studs are really nice on this head My intake manifold, 10 millimeter nut stud. Both studs are out of the intake. I'm probably going to use bolts. I don't know. We'll see. But I have to keep that close by too. I uh, will put that in my other box. Pretty good. The threads in this thing. Those spark plug holes look real good too. It's one head. Here's the other one. If I don't knock you over. Here's the other one, single port. It has studs. Let's see if I can get those off too. I'm gonna trade side. Get that over there. I put the stud away. There it is. Where's the tin? You can see you laughing at me with this booboo on my finger. Gray laughing at me. I can see him making fun of my voice. I can hear him already. Uh -huh. Yeah, let go already. It's hard to do with only nine fingers. Here's my 10 lock, and this is an oil cap nut for the strainer on the bottom, like a, I don't know, a dome nut, castle nut. Put that on there. This head's a really good shape, considering bad valve guides. Why'd I take them out? Well, yeah, I'm here. Why not? Crack that. Put my cap nut in the vise and try and free the other two up. Doesn't work all the time. Alright, well it's been like a half hour, 40 minutes of me talking to myself. I intended on making a video just on the push rod tube uh, 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 valve guides, but turned into rocker studs and intake studs. Exhaust studs, that's up to you, man. Them things are a nightmare to get out. I'll tell you what to do. What I do is, if it's got any material left on it, if it's just rotted in half or it's got no threads or nothing, 
cut it straight off nice and easy with a cutting wheel like this little cutting wheel cut it nice and straight take off oxide flapper like this over here can't see it um, grind it flat put a center punch in the middle drill it with eighth inch drill it just work your way up quarter inch when you get to I think quarter is too big go a little smaller like three sixteenths and find an easy out and put it in there heat the piss out of the aluminum work it back and forth whatever you can do I'd love to do some but I've already done eight on Jeff's engine so I really don't want to do any more <laughs> I think Rich's engine's gonna need at least two of them repaired. Maybe we'll make a video on that. But Get the last one out here. just a nuts. Like I said, I think it's coming out. Because I have a cap on, I can't really tell. Yeah, it's coming. Need a little more torque. It appears that my flat gasket is in here still, and it's flat. All right, that's out. Grab the stud. Cap the nuts. That's in there good. We'll grab the nut. Grab the stud. I don't care about these studs because I'm going to make some. But the little 10 millimeter nuts with the cap I want because those go to the oil filter. And I probably have five dozen of them. But Okay, that can go in there. These go in here. That's it. That's today's project. If you look close, I still have the brass ring for the intake manifold. I don't know if the other one does. Wow, the other one does too. It's like a crush washer. It crushes down in there. I can leave it there. It won't hurt anybody. I'm going to clean these up in the tank. And uh, hopefully a lot of this goop comes out. The goop in there. And I didn't wear any rubber gloves. Just so Don Gray doesn't call me all girly because I'm wearing rubber gloves. But that's it. I'm going in. Have a good day. I hope this thing recorded, man, because I don't feel like doing it again. Smash my fingers. <laughs>